hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do phase detection using opencv in a react native app so let's get started so firstly i will show you guys the demo so this is the demo for android now there there would be two demos like in so here as you can see i have one button called pick video if i click on pick video i will just select one image and here you can see i'm extracting face from that uh, face from that particular image now in the second demo similarly for it is same for android only i will select one image and here you can see i'm drawing a rectangle so i will show you the both ways similarly it is for ios as well here you can see i'll just click on pick video i'll select an image and here you can see uh, it has drawn a rectangle now the output might look a little weird because i'm running it on ipad i have uh, i have not uh, created uh, uh, the proper ui for ipad that's why it looks a little bit odd but if you try to run it on ios uh, like an iphone sorry uh, the output should be fine also uh, you have to test it on real android and real ios device this won't work on a simulator or an emulator so here i'm just doing some code changes ignore that i'll show you the proper code at the very end <coughs> and here you can see this is the app running and if i click on pick video uh, this should not be pick video it should be pick image but here you can see the face has been extracted and now because i have given the image view a bigger height and width that's why it is a little bit blurry okay so let's get started and ios so for this what i have done is that i have opened this android folder inside android studio you will have to open this ios folders xc workspace inside xcode okay next you will have to go to this url opencv.org slash releases whatever is the latest version just click on the android button click on the ios pack button it will download to zip file for you you will just have to unzip it i have already done that next this is my uh, project inside android studio now i have written down some steps so first we have to create on file new uh, import module here we have to click on this button then go to the downloads directory here is my uh, open cv android sdk click on this sdk click open and here you will have to just write open cv click finish now this might take a little bit of time so be patient uh, once that is done uh, we will uh, come back uh, by that time what i will do is that i will open our so my xc workspace for ios inside xcode is already open i'll open this rn app or whatever is your project name i'll go to the downloads folder and here you can see this is the unzip for my ios uh, hdk so i'll just drag and drop over here then make sure you check all this checkbox click finish okay uh, so i will just complete ios for now otherwise you might get confused because the android one takes a little bit of time to import and just right click new file create an uh, header file click next and i'll just name it as open cv wrapper okay oh i think there has been some mistake why is our open cv to yeah so i'll just drag and drop it again i'm not sure why it wasn't reflecting why it's not reflecting okay oh okay i think it took a little bit of time so i will just delete uh, the one which i added later okay i think i added it twice right because the first one took a lot of time so make sure you have this at least one you just need one okay you don't need two all right so this is done then i will just create one more file open cv wrapper now this is an objective c file select objective c click next give same name next click create change the extension to dot mm because it is objective c plus plus then we have to create a prefix header right click new file search for pch click next click create okay then we have to copy this import inside our bridging header so for that we don't have a bridging header right so i will just quickly create one swift file so 
file called phase detection click create xcode village do you want to create a bridging header yes go to your bridging header i'll paste this okay then we have to go to build settings so go to build settings build settings here you have to search for prefix header okay make sure you make this as yes then i'll just copy something okay here you have to just double click paste this here you have to remove this my ios app so it should be something like dollar uh, this rounded bracket src root forward slash prefix header dot pch i'll click on enter then okay so that's it for ios coming back to our android part so this is done firstly i'll go to gradle skips inside settings dot gradle you should see this this line been added then i'll go to build dot gradle and here uh, i'll update the main hdk version to 24 now at the time of me recording the target hdk is 34 and the compile hdk is also 34 so you will have to add the same version whatever you have to this build or gradle of open cv as well so i'll scroll down i'll make this as 34 this i have kept as 24 this is 20 34 as well and you have to change the java version to 17 okay and here as well 17 then click on sync now now again this will take a little bit of time so the next step is we have to do file project structure dependencies so let the sync get completed otherwise we can't really do project structure because it requires the sync to get completed so little bit of patience okay done then i just click on file project structure dependencies all modules click this plus button uh, is it module dependency yeah module dependency select app okay then check this open cv checkbox click ok click apply click ok and it will again do gradle sync and now if you see your build out gradle it should have this open cv dependency been added now just wait till this gradle sync is done once that is done i will show you the rest of the code which i have written which is just uh, i'll just explain you all the code which i have written okay so the next thing which i have done is that inside package.json i have installed this particular library called react native image picker also we will have to enable the new architecture uh, okay so for enabling the new architecture you have to search for a new arc enabled uh, make this as true inside gradle.properties for ios you will have to cd to your ios directory this one and inside your terminal and then run this particular command so this will uh, enable the new architecture for ios then we will have to run this particular command so this will uh, so sorry don't run this command because we have to create this sorry about that so firstly uh, we will be following this documentation fabric native components it's better you keep this documentation open because i will be copying a lot of code from this so first create an rtn my image view folder inside that i have created a package.json file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed this has been changed then i have created a pod spec file again i have copy pasted it from docs and only this name has been changed then i have created a js folder inside that i have created typescript file uh, again i have copy pasted everything from docs here we are passing a url of type string so i have changed the prop and this name has been changed then i have created an android folder inside that i have created build.gradle file again i have copy pasted it from docs only gradle version has been upgraded here i have added apply plugin kotlin android compile hdk is 34 min hdk is 21 target hdk is 34 and here i have added kotlin standard lib as well as open cv implementation which i have shown you then create src main create res folder inside that create a folder called raw and we will have you will have to create this xml file now to copy the contents for this xml file you can go to this particular url so i'll show you sorry i'll show you this url so 
सो हियर यू कैन गो एंड जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट ऑल दिस कोड फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल आई हैव डन दैट ऑलरेडी सो इफ यू सी दिस इज दी कोड इट इट्स क्वाइट बिग दिस विल हेल्प अस टू डू फेस डिटेक्शन देन क्रिएट जावा कॉम आर टी एन माई इमेज यू फर्स्ट क्रिएट माई इमेज यू पैकेज डॉट के टी अगेन आव कॉपी पेस्टेड इट फ्रॉम डॉक्स ओनली दिस नेम हैज़ बीन चेंज एंड दिस हैज बीन चेंज एंड दिस पैकेज नेम हैज़ बीन चेंज देन आई हैव क्रिएटेड माई इमेज यू मैनेजर डॉट के टी अगेन आव कॉपी पेस्टेड इट फ्रॉम डॉक्स ओनली पैकेज नेम हैज़ बीन चेंज एंड एवरीवेयर आई एम यूजिंग माई इमेज यू सो हियर यू कैन सी ऑल नेम्स हैज़ बीन चेंज टू माई इमेज यू रेस्ट एवरीथिंग हैज़ बीन कॉपेड फ्रॉम डॉक्स दिस हैज वेल हैज़ बीन चेंज एंड हियर वी आर इनिशियलाइजिंग और कॉटल इन फाइल कॉल माई इमेज यू एंड वंस वी गेट दी यू आर एल प्रॉप ऑफ द सिलेक्टेड इमेज वी सेंड इट टू सेट अप इमेज व्यू ओके सो इफ यू गो टू माई इमेज व्यू डॉट के टी अगेन दीज आर ऑल दी इम्पोर्ट्स यू कैन कॉपी इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू देन वी आर एक्सटेंडिंग लीनियर ली आउट हियर आई हैव क्रिएटेड अमर इमेज व्यू आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन बिट मैप दिस मैट इज फ्रॉम ओपन सी वी एज वेल एज कैसकेड क्लासीफायर इज फ्रॉम ओपन सी वी हियर वी आर इनिशियलाइजिंग अवर ओपन सी वी फर्स्ट सेटिंग ली आउट टू अवर लीनियर ली आउट इनिशियलाइजिंग अवर इमेज व्यू एडिंग इट टू लीनियर ली आउट देन इन साइड सेट अप इमेज व्यू विच गेट्स कॉल फ्रॉम माई इमेज व्यू मैनेजर सो वंस वी पास दिट पर्टिकुलर यू आर आई we create a bitmap out of it then we create a mat then we do utils dot bitmap to mat pass our bitmap pass our mat if mat is not equal to null then only we call this detect faces method which i have created then we create a result bitmap then we again do utils dot mat to bitmap pass our mat pass our result bitmap now um, here i guess our face bitmap now it now it depends on you what exactly you want to show so suppose if you want to show the extracted face you can uncomment this out and comment this out if you want to draw a rectangle then you can just uncomment this and comment this out then this all this code i have just copy pasted it from the documentation even i am not really good at this so you can just copy paste it but one thing which i will show you is here you can see we are loading that xml file which we have created so this is important so this is for init open cv okay so that's it for android next uh, what we will have to do is go op go to your terminal or uh, go to the root of your react native project firstly run this particular command then you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then run this particular command so here instead of rn app you will have to write your own project name over here over here as well as over here then you will have to cd to the android folder and then run this particular command so this will do code generation for android then you will have to cd to the ios folder and then run this command so this will do code generation for ios i know the documentation also says that create ios folder inside this rt and my image view but we won't be doing that because we want to use swift uh, we will be writing all the code inside xcode xc workspace of ios folder all right now quickly coming back to how to use it so here inside app.tsx i have imported these two libraries i have created a set for uh, use state for our image uri so once the button is pressed i am calling pick image here we are filtering by photos once the user has picked an image we get the uri we set it to this particular variable and if it is not equal to empty then only we display our rt and my image view okay now for ios uh, firstly you will have to open the xc workspace of xcode uh, xc workspace of ios inside xcode then i have inside info.plist i have uh, no we don't require any permission sorry so inside header file we have created two method detect face and extract face you can copy this then inside our objective c file now coming back to this again i have copy pasted it from the documentation so uh, even i am not really sure about this but here we are basically creating a mat okay and here is the detect face implementation so here you can see again we have to create this file for ios as well i'll show you that in a bit and uh, this is for detecting in the faces and this is for extracting the faces so again you can just copy paste this code even i am not really good at this okay next we have to create this particular file so here you can see i have created this file just create this file in, inside vs code and drag and drop inside xcode again i have copy pasted the contents from that url which i show you so this one uh, but make sure you have this target membership checked over here then i have created an header file called rt and my image you again i have copy pasted it from docs 
the fabric docs and only uh, this name has been changed then i create an objective c file but change the extension to dot mm so it is objective c plus plus again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this names has been changed okay and this should be your bridging header name so this is my bridging header name also inside your prefix header make sure you add this bit of code as well and inside your bridging header uh, we have this import okay coming back to this uh again this has been copied from docs only its names have been changed here we have created our ui view as well as image view this has been copied from docs and this name has been changed and here again i have copy pasted this from docs here we are initializing our view here we are initializing our swift file my image view which i have created and adding it to our view and again this has been copied from docs only the prop name has been changed and this has been copied from docs as well only this name has been changed next coming back to our uh, another objective c file but make sure change the extension to dot mm which is objective c plus plus again i have copy pasted it from doc only this names has been changed everywhere then i have created my image view dot swift file again i have copy pasted it from docs and here as you can see i have just created our image view ui image view and once we get the url we just called we create an ui image out of it now again it depends on you what you want to do if you just want to detect face you can use this code comment this part out okay and if you want to extract face then you can comment this code and uncomment this out next here we are in initializing our image view and this is a boilerplate code which you have to write so yeah i think uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching bye